Well, hello and welcome back again to another episode of Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. And you may be tuning in and listening to uh, our podcast on iTunes or Google Play, or you may be tuning in right now to uh, our, uh, our live live streaming on YouTube and also on Facebook. So to let you know this is raw and real, I'm going to stand up right now and get some light turned on to the subject because I forgot to turn my light on with this new studio set up. So there we go. We should be a little bit better. So anyway, if you are brand new to tuning into the show, we talk about all things real estate investing here at uh, Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. We talk about single family houses. We talk about commercial deals. Uh, we talk about land, self-storage, wholesaling, apartments, and everything you can think of in between. And we also talk a lot about mindset. And as you've heard me talk about, it's very hard to own real estate that you stand on until you actually own and control the real estate that exists between your ears. So I've got a special guest today that's going to be uh, talking with us about mindset. But before I introduce my special guest, I want to give you all a very, very big reminder and announcement. So you might be uh, watching right now on YouTube live streaming that we've got going on. You might be watching on Facebook live streaming. And by the way, if you are live right now on Facebook or YouTube in particular, you are able to put your questions or your comments in the comment bar below while we've got our guests live here on the show. So any questions you've got regarding mindset uh, or anything along the topic that we're talking about today, be sure and uh, put your questions in the box below and we'll get your questions answered with my special guest. But before I bring him on, the big announcement. So folks, here it is. Uh, right around the corner in the next few days. In fact, we're talking only a couple of weeks out. My next live event that I'm going to invite you to, you can come for free. It's a $3,000 ticket. And the name of the event is the Real Estate Cash Flow Conference. And what happens at this event, it's going to be February 26th, 27th, and 28th, right here in Eastern North Carolina. At this live event, we're going to be talking about all things relating to real estate investing, particularly single family houses. But if you haven't tuned in uh, before now, I'm known as the private money authority. And the reason for that is because uh, from 2003 to 2009, I was investing in single family houses and I got cut off like the rest of the world did with no funding in 2009. I was introduced to this wonderful world of private money. And since that time, I haven't missed out on a deal because I didn't have funding. So at this live event, we're going to have private lenders that you can actually network with at the event. Um, I'll be teaching private money on the first day. The afternoon of the first day, we'll be going on the rehab bus tour where we actually go look at our houses that we have projects that are underway. We'll be showing you houses that we just acquired. Uh, houses that are under the renovation process and those that are completely finished and staged and now being marketed. You'll meet my team and how you can duplicate my business model. Uh, you'll meet my contractors, how I do business with them, our interior designer. You'll meet uh, our realtor uh, and the entire team. On the second day, I'll be teaching you my foreclosure system, how we find motivated sellers before other real estate investors even know they exist also teach you on the second day, my three day selling system process, how we can sell any house in three days or less. And then the afternoon of the second day, we have private lenders come to the event that you get to network with. And then on the third day, it's all about automation. How are you able to actually work in this business less than 10 hours per week? So if you're remotely interested in, if you're brand new, you've never done a real estate investing deal and you want to learn all about real estate investing, uh, this event's for you. If you're a seasoned real estate investor and you're looking for more funding for your deals, regardless, uh, and I'm not talking hard money, folks, I'm talking actual private money. Uh, if you're interested in getting more funding for your deals, regardless of your experience or your credit or anything like that, this event is for you as well. So I'm going to give you the special URL, the special website right now. 
that you can go check it out and you can get registered for free. Again, it's right around the corner. Uh, when you register, you will immediately get an email notification uh, with the hotel information and the special room block rate that we've got. So get right on over to www.jayconner.com forward slash live event, all spelled out L-I-V-E-E-V-E-N-T. That website again is www.jayconner.com forward slash live event. Again, that's right around the corner, February 26th, 27th, and 28th. We're going to have the movers and shakers coming from all over the nation. The networking opportunities at this event are unbelievable and amazing. So you definitely want to get there. All right. So on with my guest. Again, if you're just tuning in with us now, um, now if you're listening to the podcast or watching the replay on YouTube, Obviously what I'm getting ready to say doesn't apply, but if you are watching live right now on one of our YouTube channels, or if you're watching live right now on Facebook live streaming, uh, go ahead and put in the uh, comment bar, say hello and uh, your first name and uh, what city and state you're from. We always like to know who's tuning in. And also beyond that, uh, you got any questions for my guest that I'm getting ready to introduce? We're talking about the mindset. And this is going to be not only for real estate investing, but personal life, any kind of business you're in, go ahead and get your questions in the uh, comment bar and we'll get your questions answered. So let me introduce my guest to you. I'm excited to have, uh, he and I are in a mastermind group together and his name is Peter Kolot. He's also known as Polish Peter uh, in the industry. And Peter is known as a transformational coach particularly for immigrant entrepreneurs, but also any business owner uh, that's here in the United States. So because of Peter's ability to speak into people's lives, he's able to dive deep into what's holding someone back from being successful. He's also been referred to as Polish Tony, AKA Tony Robbins by his students. Well, Peter was originally born in Poland, and he came to the United States when he was only 14 years old, unable to speak English and just a suitcase in his hand when he was only 14 years old. Peter landed in a small town, a suburb in the city of Detroit. Well, let's fast forward on to today. Peter now owns a successful national business development and coaching company that's worked with high six and seven figure businesses in 16 different countries all around the world. So his clients consistently return positive ROIs on their businesses. And one of his recent clients and stories that one of his clients got to experience is they passed over 100,000 leads directly from Facebook. Yes, Peter, I want to talk to you about that. His client got over a hundred thousand leads from Facebook that resulted in over a quarter million dollars in profit. Well, just a few years ago, the word started spreading about Peter and he ended up being featured in Fast Company Magazine as one of the top 100 most influential people on the internet and is in the top 10% of the most connected LinkedIn profiles in the world. I want to talk to you about that as well, Peter. Sounds like you're a LinkedIn uh, expert. So anyway, Polish Peter runs a successful online podcast He's the founder of the first ever immigrant entrepreneur centered mastermind called Immigrant Masters Unite. So on a personal level, he's got three kids, loves his deep, uh, Detroit Red Wings and loves to travel around the world. He's a connector of people, which won't surprise you. And he embraces his Polish roots as part of his character. And after 27 years, still calls Michigan his home. So Peter, with that introduction, welcome to the show, my friend. Well, thank you for having me, Jay. I really appreciate it. And I know my accent kind of gives it away a little bit about where I might be from, but uh, I'm so happy to be on this uh, particular podcast and I'm glad to support you and help your listeners change and alter, shift their mindset, you know, because that's where it's at. Well, you know, your topic, uh, mindset, uh, our attitude, uh, the filter that we see everything and how we process everything coming into our brain is one of my very, very important topics. And again, folks, if you're just tuning in uh, on, uh, on one of our live stream channels, 
Uh, be sure and comment below with your questions. And Peter and I will get you all your questions answered. We're focused today on mindset, not as just relates to real estate investing, but you know, at large personally and any other type of business. So Peter, you came here to the United States all the way from Poland when you were only 14 years old with your suitcase in your hand. And so you're like big time starting from scratch. What is it that brought you here to the United States from Poland? What happened? Well, long story short, uh, back in the 80s, you know, Poland was a communist country. So what was happening a lot of times is, you know, people, as much as communism says, you know, we're going to take care of you and all that kind of things. Uh, people didn't really have a lot to live on. Right. And when I was about eight years old, my parents got divorced. And as the divorce happened, we got kind of pushed out of the apartment that we were living in. And my mom was looking for ways to make money, you know. And one of the things that was happening back then in the 80s is the United States was the land of opportunity, where literally kind of like people were thinking that money grows on trees kind of here. And she came over here to make some money. And as she came here and started growing, you know, her own life and bought a house here for herself and then brought me and my sisters back here when I was 14 years old. So that's how I ended up coming here uh, to the United States. And um, and on this point, I still believe to this day that the United States is the land of opportunity because I don't know any other place in the world where you can do what, for instance, you know, the real investors do. I mean, how many countries can you go and freely go and buy houses and, and flip houses and, and make money doing it? It's it's amazing. So that's how I ended up here. Yeah. So, um, of course, you are a real estate investor yourself. You've done um, you've done projects and developments in the past. But I want to hear more of your story. I want my audience to hear more of your story. And that is. Why and how did mindset uh, and that topic become such an important topic in your life? Well, to be honest with you, the reason why it became so important because uh, when 2007, 2008 came around, I was back then doing a lot of real estate developments here in Michigan. I did multifamily houses and churches and and multi and industrial buildings, all kinds of different things. And I saw what was happening in the uh, marketplace, you know, like we were starting to see the properties basically not working, right? I mean, developers were leaving the state and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to start my own business and starting to do something on the side because I was working for this development company when I was part of the development and stuff like that. Anyway, as I went to my own, I was struggling a lot in the business. I mean, I made so many mistakes growing my company and, and running this business and, and all kinds of different things. And as I have been doing it, I started struggling a lot more in the relationship. At the time, I was married. I had three kids and, and I was doing a lot of hours. I was putting 100 and 120 hours a week doing this stuff, you know, to a point where I would be doing stuff in the evenings, right? And I think a lot of real estate investors who are working from nine to five can probably relate to some of this thing. And long story short, about 2010, 2011, my wife came to me one day. Actually, I was at a uh, big RIA, which I was speaking. I was selling my own courses because I was teaching investors how to you know, market their companies and then their business online right? because I figured it out online how to do that, right? So I was teaching them and I did great at this event and I'm just, you know, finally things are turning around. I'm making things happen. And and so I come home and and my wife at the time was not being very open with me, you know? She was, I'm like, what's wrong, honey? You know, what's the matter, right? And she finally said, you know, you want to know what's wrong? And I'm like, what? And she goes, well, I want a divorce. And from that moment right there, um, my whole life kind of like flashed to a point because I remember when I was eight years old, my parents got divorced. My When I was getting divorced in that particular age, my oldest was eight years old as well. And I'm like, why is I'm being, I'm thinking I'm being such a great husband. I'm doing all this stuff, spending 100, 120 hours a week and all those kinds of crazy things. And my life is falling apart right in front of me. So I'm like, Something has to change. What is going on here? 
right? And I started really diving deep into who I am, why I'm doing this stuff and figuring out this whole mindset stuff because up to this point, I thought I had it figured out and nothing was really working. And when I finally started looking into, you know, my own story, my beliefs about myself and the world and, and other people and all those kinds of crazy things, that's the whole new world kind of opened up, you know, those blind spots that I call them that a lot of people have started opening up. And, uh, and that's basically how I went into it. Didn't end up saving the marriage because at that point my uh, you know wife was basically checked out, but what has happened came out of that is, uh, I mean, I became a completely different person. All of a sudden after that, after I went through that period, my life started turning around for the better and I started making more money and that I have ever done before. And my life started working, you know, not only just business, but my personal life, my life with my kids, everything. And, you know, because we are the common denominator among all of this. So yeah. that's where I started. Your story reminds me of how it's so true and so often that our quantum leaps that we experience as human beings and individuals to where our biggest growth takes place actually comes out of a really sometimes uh, traumatic mm -hmm. uh, experience or hardship or adversity. Um, and, and that's when, and that's when it turns around. Has that been your experience? Well, I mean, looking back on my life, it has been a lot of that, you know, I mean, I am, you know, I was raised Catholic. I'm know myself as Christian and I believe that God put you through all these different things to be able to go through it, to have this become part of your story. And for me, as I look back in my life, you know, the reason why I'm sitting here right in front of you right now speaking is because of all the different hardships that I went through, you know, and those difficult moments um, happen for a reason, I believe. And they happen to open up a whole new way that you start looking. I mean, I will tell you this, Jay, up until that point in my life, one of the things that was holding me back from my success that I did not see, I literally could not see it like that was me, was the fact that I'm a people pleaser. And I was a huge people pleaser. And up until that point, I didn't even know that. And then finally I got a coach and I started having a conversations about that and boom, all of a sudden I'm like, wow, people pleaser. And i see how this has affected in so many different areas of my life. But when it comes to seeing that sometimes it's those hardship moments that, you know, like I saw somebody just posted on their, now uh, one of your listeners about both perseverance, right? And I think hardships also build uh, clarity. They help you take you to the next level. And um, and the, the other thing I look at the hardships as a building step to where you want to go. It's, you know, Tony Robbins talks about pain and sacrifice. And pain is inevitable. It's going to happen. And you can use it to take you down or you can use it to actually build you up, to actually take you to the next level. And I think those hard moments are there for you to lead you to the next level to where you want to go. Does that make sense? It does make sense. We've got a lot of comments uh, coming in. I see uh, E Tunnel posted here uh, as he's viewing um, here on the uh, live stream. He says hardships builds uh, perseverance, and there's no doubt about that. Let me ask you this, um, Peter. Do you think it's coincidental that you got a divorce uh, like at the same time and it's like you repeated the process and the experience of your of your parents? No, I, I'd, I'd be honest with you. I don't believe that's a coincidence because we are human beings and we live in patterns. And if you think about it, even from a day-to-day -day basis, right, you do things in a pattern, right? You get up pretty much the same way. You brush your teeth the same way. You know, you do things, you drive to work the same direction, same road, and we be, we build those habits, you know, we build those uh, way that we live. So it's, I don't believe it's a coincidence. And the reason why these kinds of occurrences happen is because you start going into life in 
specific ways, right? Different people come into your life, different experiences, different circumstances, and all of a sudden, sometimes this happens, and then you start opening up a whole new different way of looking at life. So the fact that my, you know, I was divorced when my oldest was eight and I was eight years old, I don't think it's a coincidence at all. Yeah. Hey, I'll give you my definition of coincidence. You ready, Peter? Bring it on. My definition is God's way of staying anonymous. Perfect. I love that. So let's bring this conversation home to where the audience and our viewers and listeners can apply what we're talking about. So let's go back to that time in your life where here you are, your wife says, I want a divorce. And so this is like a wake up call that you get. Mm -hmm. So let me frame the question. So my guess is a lot of our viewers and audience that are tuning into the show or either watching a replay or listening to the podcast, they may be going through a time in their life right now or very recently, and they haven't gotten over it. They've gone through a time in their life. I mean, it's like they're stressed out. Uh, they like just want to go crawl in a hole. They're asking themselves, what in the world can I do to get out of what my dad used to call the box? How mm -hmm. do I get out of the box? I feel like life. I feel like the world. I feel like everybody is pressing down on me. How do you, what do they do, Peter? What did you do when you were going through this very, very difficult, challenging time in your life? What did you do to break free of those feelings and move forward? Well, that is a great question because when you are in that particular time in life, nothing seems to make sense, right? I mean, you feel like there is so much pressure and like you said, people are coming down and all those kinds of things. And what tends to happen is we start living in that pattern within ourselves, right? You wake up every single day and you're feeling that pressure, right? The way your thoughts are going in a certain direction, you start thinking about certain things and you start asking those questions like, why is this happening and all those kinds of things. And what ends up happening is pretty quickly, we start going down deeper and deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole, or as you call it, that box, right? And my question to the person would be, if I was having a coaching conversation for them, one of the first thing I would ask, like, what if there is no box? What if there is no this rabbit hole kind of a thing, right? And the reason behind that is because what ends up happening is you start to reframe what you're focusing on. You start to look from a different perspective, right? What if there is no box? That means that there might be something else. There might be something to look towards the future, right? Because the pain is mom that's going to be for a specific time in your life. It doesn't need to remain for inevitable time. And when you start to realize that, you might start to see that I can actually use that pain to get me to where I want to go, right? I can focus in a way that's going to help me move to where I want to go. So a lot of times what I start doing with people is, one, start bringing them in my own group, right? Like I mentioned it earlier, I have my coaching group, right? So I particular, for instance, I have one coaching student who came into our group and that particular person was going through a really tough time in their life to a point where they got beat down and all kinds of things. So I started having conversations with her about this mindset and started bringing her within the group, right? Having people come around her to support her, to build her up and all those kinds of things. And eventually you start to come out of that hole because you see that there is a different way, right? And my yeah, conversations- I, see, um, I was just gonna say, uh, someone just made the comment that ties right in with what you said. It says, um, surround yourself with like-minded people who can support you. And of course, that's what happens when uh, you have the opportunity to like be in a group like that you, you know, facilitate where you can bring people, uh, you know, to help you out. And when you're, you know, going through a time like that. Right. Yeah. And th that's a really great point. It sounds like you have a pretty smart listeners on your end. Um, one thing I want to mention, though, too, is because what happens is we are human beings, right? 
It's how we are being. There's a reason why we're called human beings, right? So what happens a lot of times when you go into a hard time, you are being a certain way, right? Maybe you're being depressed or sad or you're angry or whatever it might be. So there is a certain way of being. And if you start looking at the neuroscience, how it all works, right? Your thoughts are creating emotions and those emotions are, you know, releasing certain types of chemicals in your body, you know, and those chemicals are producing these feelings that we have, right? With sadness or anger or whatever it might be. So what ends up happening is we start to work on reframing what you start to focus on. What are the thoughts are going through your head? Like, who do you need to be to be able to get out of this? You know, maybe you become, you start looking at, I need to become strong, powerful Polish Peter, right? <laughs> and Yeah, and you start, listen, I will give you an example. So for the longest time, as I came here, I look at my accent as like a horrible, horrible thing. Like I was trying to get rid of my accent. It was actually getting me very angry. I would be angry all the uh, When I would get on a call with someone, even let's say cable company, and try to solve a cable bill, I would get very upset because they couldn't understand me or make up a whole bunch of story about them, right? And I would slam the receiver and I would have my wife, who I was married at the time, say, listen, you take over it. And she would take the phone, get on a call for five minutes, she would get the problem solved. I'm like, see, there's the proof why my accent is stupid, why people hate it and all that kind of stuff. And finally, when I started having a coaching conversation with my particular coach, he asked me, well, listen, let's talk about your accent. And we started reframing that. And I reframed for myself that my accent is freaking amazing. And I love it. And it's sexy. And people love it. <laughs> I went that far. I will kid you not. Like, it's sexy. And I'll say... When women are talking to me, they're going to say I have a sexy accent and they're going to love it. And when I have events, because we run events throughout the country, I'm going to, that's what's going to happen. And guess what? I'm getting all kinds of proof that that's where it is. And that one thing has empowered me to go and start speaking in front of groups, right? Speaking on the stage and on these kinds of, 10 years ago, I would not be on this particular show because I'll be like, people don't understand me. They don't know what I'm saying, right? So what a lot of it has to do is how you are being, what's your view, who you are as a person. And when you are in those tough moments, the way to get out of it is shift your focus. You know, Tony Robbins has this great quote that I live by, and I have this with my students. I say, listen, where focus goes, your energy flows, right? Focus goes, energy flows. So what are you focusing on? Because that's going to tell you where your energy is going to go. So let's refocus where we focus on, and then you're going to send your energy towards the right thing. And pretty soon, things are going to start changing. So I just hear you said if you change your focus, that's going to have an effect on what your destiny is, right? Exactly. A so it has to do with that. So if you say change your focus... Um, that's sort of synonymous with saying change your thoughts. And if you're saying change your thoughts, that means that you believe that someone can actually be in control of what they think about. Is that right? Oh, totally. I truly believe that. The reason I bring that up is I believe, Peter, and you give me your opinion, I believe that most people, not all, but I believe most people, by the way, for those of you that are on our live stream right now, our YouTube channels and our Facebook, I want you all to comment in on, on this conversation that Peter and I are having and what you think about this subject. But my guess is, Peter, that most people are going through the day, letting the tide take their thoughts wherever it wants to take them. And that most thoughts that people have are what I call reactionary mm -hmm. and not proactive thoughts. And so their brain all day long is just reacting to what they are experiencing and, and what their eyes are seeing and what their ears are hearing. Um, and what's your thought on that? And then after you give me your thought on that, why is it important for people to realize that they can be in control of everything they think about every second of the day? Well, there is a great question because we all have the little voice in our head that has the commentary, right? That talks. 
you're not good enough or you're this or can you believe what this person said or all the kind of, you know, it goes on and on and on. If I were to be quiet for the next few minutes, you'll hear that voice. Some people are listening to it. They'll be saying, what voice is he talking about? I don't have a voice. Well, guess what? That is the voice, right? <laughs> That's actually saying that, right? <laughs> what is he talking about? What voice? That is your voice. The thing about that voice is that we look at and listen to that voice as total truth. Like that's exactly what it is. Like there is no way around it, right? And we start listening to it and it's like, okay, this is it. So what I, if that you get to choose how you want to listen to that voice, right? If you have somebody walking down the street and they say something nasty to you, you literally can react to them and say whatever bad things to them, or you can say, well, thanks for your opinion and keep moving forward, right? Keep walking. And there are some instances where you don't care who that person is and you're not going to react, right? So what if you could do that with your own voice? What if you could say, well, listen, thank you for your opinion, next, and keep moving towards what you truly want in life? Because your thoughts are occupying most of the day, right? And if your thoughts are bringing you down, if your thoughts are taking you out of the game, right? Whether you're a real estate investor and you're trying to make phone calls and you start like, well, I can't do these phone calls because somebody's going to yell at me or this or that, you know? And I have this with some of my students who are real estate investors, right? And they come to me, they're like, I can't make the phone calls. Well, start with telling the voice, well, listen, thanks for your opinion, next. And start looking at those people yelling at you as the next dollar in your pocket, right? Because if you have to make 100 phone calls to make that deal happen, and let's say out of the deal, you're going to wholesale it, and you're going to make, let's say, five or 10 grand, out of 100 phone calls, you're making 50 bucks every phone call that you make. So start looking at it from a different perspective. And then you, you think your shift in your body, shift in your mindset, start to change. You can say to the voice, well, thanks for sharing. There's my 50 bucks. You know, and the thing about us human beings is that we, for some reason, give so much power to that negative voice, but we don't give power to that positive voice that sometimes talks to us, right? When things are happening, right? Maybe we say something, wow, that was really cool. Great job. Keep focusing on that. Keep going towards that. And when you start realizing that and you start recognizing that and you start hearing that voice, all of a sudden you start to discover who you really are and you start to move towards the person that you truly want to be. One of the things that I do with all my students, I have them create their vision. What is your vision for your life? What do you want your life to look like? So we know where you're going. So then when the voice is talking, you can literally say, well, this is where I'm going after. And I know it can sound kind of odd, right? Because this is not a normal conversation that most people have, but it works. It works like crazy because I can give you so many examples of my students, my own life. Then when you start looking at that, all of a sudden you start seeing different results because you start getting on a phone call and you say, well, thank you for that voice. Next. You see what I mean? Jay, I think it's, did I answer your question? You did. And folks, if you're just tuning in now, we are visiting with Peter Kolot, also known as Polish Peter. And he is an expert in the area and world of mindset, having the right mindset and how to use your focus and your thoughts to actually determine what your destiny uh, is going to be and what you experience in life. Uh, we're taking questions and comments. So if you are on the live stream, uh, go ahead and put your questions and comments uh, right below the video. And we've only got about five or 10 minutes left. So based on what you just said there, Peter, it sounds to me like the most important conversations that you'll have with anybody all day long or anytime during the day is that conversation that you have with yourself. Totally. 95% of the day is the conversation that we have in our own head. 
And depending on the type of person you are, maybe it's time for you to get out of your head. I love it. Now, since you are a mindset and personal development uh, expert, Peter, I'm interested in knowing what um, daily routines or daily rituals, do you have any daily routines or daily rituals that really help you stay on track with where you want to go? Yes. So I have a morning routine that I start off day every morning. And one of the things that I do is first I spend the time with the Lord because I think it's important uh, for me. Amen, and, brother. I, I, I do the same thing. Yes, it is. I think it's so important. And the second thing I do is, you know, look at my day. It's like, what's the one thing that I need to do today that will make a difference for me? And then just if I can hit that one thing, that will make a big difference for me. And, and oddly enough, that starts to snowball and you start doing different things. You know, you start working on different things. And depending on the person, because I've been in this for a while now, right? So I have this routine that actually gets me going, gets me out of my head. But some people, they, you know, they meditate. I meditate for 15, 20 minutes in the morning and I start just sit there close my eyes and be with myself. And a lot of times start seeing what are the thoughts that are coming into my head, right? Thanks for the uh, opinion. Next, right? And you start developing yourself to be the master of you as opposed to in your life, as opposed to your, ma your life mastering you. And when you get to that level, I mean, you can do, you can do, listen, if a Polak that's 14 years old, who doesn't speak any English, can make something happen in this country, anybody can do it, okay? I don't know if you heard any Polish jokes out there, but they're not the best, right? But I will tell you this. Uh, I believe that anybody in this country can make be successful, and it starts with you. Once you master your life, you can master your life, and, uh, and that's where it starts with. Morning routine, is, I think, is extremely important. I was just reading uh, some of the comments from our uh, viewers coming in. Um, one uh, one individual niece says, uh, "As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he." Uh, so yeah, that's awesome right there. Um, let's see here. I got to lean forward to actually see it. Uh, start your day with the Lord. Yes, that's a game changer. Uh, somebody says, "Be careful, um, or you'll have stinking thinking." Um, somebody says here, I used to be a reactionary and respond, uh, or react, but now I respond. So have we got some great comments coming in, Peter, Peter, we've been putting up here on the, um, on the screen, as you've been talking your website, which is mm -hmm. www.immigrantmastersunite.com. Uh, tell everybody what that's about. So immigrant masters unite is a website where you can go in and, I am willing to give three different coaching sessions for one hour for free uh, for anybody that's coming from the show. And we're going to tackle one big thing that's holding you back, the blind spot, and help you uncover it and maybe do some kind of a transformation for you to be able to get you to the next level. The reason for that website is I have my own coaching mastermind group where I help people on a monthly and yearly basis live the life that they truly deserve and they want. I've had people come from, you know, all kinds of different walks of life, uh, working from 120 hours a week to doing 30 hours a week. My business personally runs about 25 to 30 hours a week. I run my entire business and guess what? I get to spend time with my kids, get to do what I love to do. And that's the ultimate goal to what we do. And the business is supporting my life, not the other way around, you know, where it used to be where I was supporting my business, it's the other way around. So the Immigrant Masters Unite is basically a coaching mastermind where I am looking for, I have 12 total spots in that mastermind where I help people literally achieve that. And we see this happen all the time. In you now real estate investors, um, I had one particular student who basically came in, was a newbie. Uh, between the last retreat and this retreat, because we, those, we do those retreats three times a month, he has done a, a tremendous amount of work, and now he's looking at a 14-unit uh, deal where he has never done real estate before, and it started with up here. Once you get that altered, once you get that shift in here, 
you'll be seeing amazing things happen. So if you go over to Immigrant Masters, you know, I'll be more than happy to give you some feedback and, and have a great coaching conversation and, and ultimately maybe help you make that shift for yourself. Yeah, and how often does your uh, mastermind meet? So we have live three-day events or two-day events, depending on the group, but do we do it three months, th three times a year. And so in three, between three that, times a year in person, right? In person, and between that, we have a monthly uh, mastermind on Zoom, and then we have individual phone calls with me. Uh, every student gets the conversations with me, and I get to support them and things like yeah. that. Yeah, and you know, since you've been a coach for some time, I'm sure you've probably noticed a trend, Peter, as to the the biggest or the most common transformations or changes that people are able to make by working with you as a coach. What are some of those commonalities that you see people uh, experiencing and being successful with when they work with you? Well, one of the biggest shift that happens for people, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, is like I said, the mindset. You know, I've had someone come into my group and for instance, he didn't feel confident at all in his abilities. And we started having coaching conversations and all of a sudden he's gained his confidence and things are starting to happen because think about this. There is a ton of information out there. And you guys know, most people, what you need to do and how you need to do it. So why isn't it not happening, right? So once you make it start with you and make that shift, right, in your mindset, that's when things happen because 95% of your day and your business is mindset. So that is the most common denominator across all of my students that once this little wheels turn here, all of a sudden things start happening in the relationships. And I will tell you this, every single student that comes into my coaching program, the first things we have to talk about is your mindset. And allow students come into my coaching group and say, listen, I want to make more money. Great. So I ask them, so do you want to make more money? Great. So tell me about money. Well, money is evil, right? Well, if that's the case, how are we going to make money? <laughs> so see how that now you have to start having conversation about the mindset, right? Reframing that. Um, so that's where it all starts. Mindset is the thing that we are need we need to fix in order to get to where we want to go excellent well there you have it folks uh my friend and colleague peter um polish peter also known as a uh, colot mindset coach uh if you're experiencing something in your life either personally or in business that you feel like that's holding you back significantly and you'd like to experience that breakthrough, then uh, Peter has offered a free session for you to take advantage of uh, coaching with him for free and uh, get yourself a free sample and see how well you all connect. So uh, get on over to www.immigrant, I-M-M-I-G-R-A-N-T, Immigrant Masters, M-A-S-T-E-R-S, immigrantmastersunite.com and uh, get connected with Peter. Peter, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show and uh, parting comments. Thank you for having me. I just want to say I appreciate you being here. Uh, somebody said on their gratitude is important, and I'm grateful for being able to pour into you and to people's lives. And listen, guys, um, just work on this. Once you fix this, everything else is going to change. It's, I've seen it many times, and it's that word, that's where it's at. That's for sure. And by the way, we got comments coming in right now from folks that are viewing live saying great show, great show, great show. So thank you so much, Peter. I look forward to staying connecting with you myself. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. Thank you for tuning into this show. Look forward to having you back on another show very, very soon. And again, don't miss out on the upcoming live event, February 26th, 27th, and 28th, the Real Estate Cash Flow Conference. You can get right on over to www.jayconner, J A Y C O N N E R.com forward slash live event. Get all registered for free. Look forward to having you uh, as a guest on the next show, Peter, not too far down the road. And to everyone that's tuning in, either here live or watching the replay, 
Here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. See you on the next show. Bye for now.